Top 10 toxic celebrity relationships that had the biggest red flags. Counting down from number 10, Miley Cyrus and Liam Hemsworth. Miley admitted she was dating her, the last song co-star Liam Hemsworth in 2010, but their romance hasn't exactly been seamless. In June 2010, Miley denied rumors of a split, but months later in August, they were confirmed. They got back together and broke up a few more times, announcing another reconciliation in April 2011. In June 2012, Miley announced her engagement to Liam, but within months of getting her blinging engagement ring, reports surfaced that Liam was cheating on her. Though currently both parties are playing coy about their current relationship status, it's been quite a while since they have been snapped together and sources close to the star say the wedding is off. Miley and Liam's relationship has been on and off more times than a light switch. We can't keep up with these two. Seriously, the amount of drama between them could be turned into its own soap opera. But let's not forget the iconic movie that brought them together, the last song. It's like they say, you never know where you'll find love, even on the set of a Nicholas Sparks movie. And although things may not have worked out for them in the end, we can't deny that Miley and Liam were once one of our favorite Hollywood couples. Plus, who doesn't love a good celebrity romance roller coaster? Speaking of romance roller coasters, number nine. Justin and Selena. Selena Gomez and JB were young Hollywood's golden couple until their picture perfect romance started to crumble with rumors that the teen pop idol was cheating on his gorgeous girlfriend. But despite his wandering eye and his bad boy antics, Gomez kept getting back together with Bieber. But hey, we can't really blame her for going back to the Biebs. He's got that boyish charm and those swoon-worthy songs that just tug at our heartstrings. And let's not forget his signature hair flip and those abs that are hashtag goals. Plus, it's hard to resist the allure of a bad boy. We've all been there, right ladies? It seems like Gomez just couldn't quit Bieber no matter how many times he broke her heart. Maybe she's a hopeless romantic who believes in second chances or maybe she just couldn't resist that undeniable chemistry between them. But let's be real, their on again, off again relationship was a roller coaster that we couldn't seem to look away from. It's like watching a train wreck. You know it's not gonna end well, but you just can't help but keep watching. Number eight, Whitney Houston and Bobby Brown. Bobby and Whitney were one of music's most tragic couples. Married from 1992 to 2006, the couple's trials and tribulations were covered extensively by the media and included everything from substance abuse to alcohol addiction, infidelity, accusations, arrests, and domestic abuse. However, in the midst of all this chaos and drama, Bobby Brown, ma Bobby Brown managed to release a string of successful albums with hits such as My Prerogative and Every Little Step. It goes to show that sometimes great art comes from a place of pain and turmoil. But let's not forget about Whitney Houston, the queen of pop and one of the greatest voices of all time. Her hits like I Will Always Love You and Greatest Love of All are still beloved by fans worldwide and who can forget her iconic role in the cult classic film The Bodyguard. Whitney may have had her demons, but she also left behind an incredible legacy that will always be remembered. Number seven, Chris Brown and Rihanna. Chris and Riri were hip hop's hottest young couple until their explosive argument the night before the 2009 Grammy Awards left the sexy singer bruised and battered. After years of apologizing and attempting to get and attempting to get his career back on track, Chris finally got Rihanna back in his arms in late 2012, and the couple gave their romance a second shot. But the reunion only lasted a few months. It's not really a surprise that things did not work out between Chris and Rihanna. I mean, what did we expect? that he would magically transform into a completely different person overnight? Let's be real here. Love can conquer many things, but it can't erase someone's violent tendencies. And while we all rooted for them to make it work, deep down we knew it was only a matter of time before things went south again. But hey, at least they gave it another try, right? And who knows, maybe one day they'll both look back and laugh at how young and foolish they were, or maybe they'll just avoid each other like the plague for the rest of their lives. Either way, the drama will always be a juicy topic to bring up at dinner parties and in tabloid magazine articles and YouTube videos. You can't deny that watching their relationship drama unfold was like a never ending soap opera. Just when you thought it was over, they would surprise us with another plot twist. 
Number six, Pamela Anderson and Tommy Lee. The couple's bad romance was the sunset strip fairy tale of the 1990s gone wrong. The couple eloped in 95 after only knowing each other for 96 hours and have been on again, off again in their tumultuous love affair ever since. Their relationship highlights include a sex tape, two children, Anderson claiming that Lee gave her hepatitis C, a domestic violence, a domestic violence incident which Lee served four months in jail for, Anderson filing for divorce twice and reconciling twice, and the couple finally getting divorced in 1998 and then briefly getting back together in 2008. Yeah, that was a roller coaster. The infamous love story of Pamela Anderson and Tommy Lee was the stuff of Hollywood legends, albeit with a dark twist. It was like something out of a sunset strip fairy tale. Rock star meets blonde bombshell. They, elo they elope for 96 hours and then proceed to have one of the most tumultuous relationships ever seen in Tinseltown. But let's be real, we all know that happy endings are overrated. Who wants to read about a couple living happily ever after when you could delve into the juicy details of their dysfunctional, of their dysfunctional love affair? And boy did Tom and Pam have some juicy details. Number five, OJ and Nicole. Nicole Brown and OJ Simpson dated for several years before getting married in 1985, having two children along the way. In 1989, Simpson pleaded no contest to spousal abuse and Brown finally filed for divorce in 92. Years later in his book, OJ accused Brown of having a substance problem and dual personality. In June 1994, Brown was found passed away at her home along with her friend Ronald Goldman, with OJ as the leading suspect. Though he was arrested and charged with the crime, he was found not guilty, but later found liable in a civil suit. Nicole Brown and OJ Simpson may have had a rocky relationship, but one thing is for sure, they definitely knew how to make headlines. From their tumultuous marriage to the shocking trial, this couple kept us on the edge of our seats and glued to our TV for years. But let's not forget about Nicole herself. She was more than just a famous football player's wife. She was a devoted mother, successful entrepreneur, and a fashion icon. Despite the hardships she faced, Nicole remained strong-willed and determined to make the best out of her life. From launching her own fashion line to raising two children as a single parent, she proved that she was more than capable of handling whatever life threw her way and looked absolutely stunning while doing it. Number four, Amber Heard and Johnny Depp. The couple first met on the set of The Rum Diary and from there began the start of their, of their tumultuous relationship. By early 2012, the two started dating and were married by 2015 during a private ceremony in their home in LA. Only a year later was Heard filing for divorce, also obtaining a temporary restraining order alleging that Depp had physically abused her during their relationship. Depp denied the allegations, claiming Heard was attempting to secure a premature financial resolution by alleging abuse. Since then, the two have been embroiled in back and forth claims of abuse, with Depp vehemently denying he ever hit his ex-wife. But let's be honest, this isn't the first time or the last celebrity couple to go through a messy divorce. Hollywood is notorious for its dramatic relationships and even more dramatic breakups. But what sets Depp and Heard apart from other A-list couples is the public scrutiny and backlash that came with their split. The media was quick to pick sides, with some supporting Depp and others standing by Heard. Fans of Depp's work even started boycotting the Pirates of the Caribbean franchise after Heard made her abuse allegations. Number three, Court and Scott. Kardashian and Disick first met in 2006 at a party thrown by Girls Gone Wild creator Joe Francis in Mexico. Apparently, Kardashian wasn't into Disick at first, saying, I just thought he was so annoying. She explained during an episode of Keeping Up With The Kardashians. He was four years younger, lived in New York, and didn't have a job. The couple's early stages of the relationship were captured during the earlier seasons of the reality show, and they seemed to be going strong. However, Scott's substance abuse, heavy partying, and drinking seemed to draw issues in his relationship with Court, which was a recurring issue throughout their long-term romance. But despite the ups and downs of their relationship, the couple always seemed to find a way back to each other. Number two, Donna and Sean Penn. The couple's romance first started in 1985 after meeting on the set for the music video Material Girl. Both of them had just gotten out of relationships and first started off as friends. However, their platonic relationship quickly bloomed into a romantic one, and by 1985, the two tied the knot on Madonna's 27th birthday. The relationship started off good, but eventually things started to get rocky due to Penn's unpredictable outbursts and temper. 
In 1986, Madonna filed for divorce and the two went their separate ways. While most people would bury their head in a pint of ice cream after a messy breakup, Madonna decided to channel her heartache into her music. She released her third studio album, True Blue, in 1986, which was heavily influenced by her relationship with Penn. But she didn't just stop there, she also used her music as a way to get back at Penn and poke fun at his behavior. In her hit song, Papa Don't Preach, she sings about a girl defying her father's wishes and choosing to keep her baby, which many interpreted as a dig at Penn's controlling behavior. And finally, number one, MGK and Megan Fox. The two have had a very strange relationship during their years of dating, including vials of blood, guns, and, and addiction. <clears throat> MGK was reportedly unhealthily obsessed with Fox to the point of abuse and entrapment with strange things like a thorn engagement ring. A toxic and sexually charged relationship that was unhealthy and not the best marriage match. The dynamic duo has been seen all over social media showing off their love for each other in strange ways, from wearing, vial from wearing vials of each other's blood around their necks to sharing weapons as a symbol of love. MGK and Megan have definitely had a unique way of expressing their affection for one another, but and while some may find their antics bizarre and potentially concerning, it seems like the two have found a way to make their unorthodox relationship work. But that is all for today. Thank you for watching. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe for more juicy news on your favorites. And I'll catch you next time on The Rich Life.